Hey guys, Kevin Jackson here with another command tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a greatschools.org widget to your website. As you can see, this front page is a map and you can change which area is displayed on it. And then if you click the schools tab, it comes up with a list of schools in the area as well as the greatschools.org ratings. And then if you click search, you can search any area in the US. So Clients could use your site if they are moving out of state and want to find out what schools are in their area. You can see I pulled up Atlanta there. The school has changed. And if they click on a school, it brings them to greatschools.org where there is a whole bunch of information, number of students. They can see parent reviews and a whole bunch of other stats and information about the school. So let's get started. We're going to go over to Command and click on Sites at the bottom left, and then Create a New Site at the top right. You want it on your agent site, and then you press Create Page. Go ahead and give your page a title. We'll call this School 1. I'm going to be using the Company Profile widget. You can also use Agent Profile or a text box, which you would also need a contact form to be able to save it. I find that the company profile widget works well for this particular page. So what you do is you click and hold, drag it over here and drop it, and that will bring up that company profile widget. And you could also add multiple widgets if you want. You can put it on top, below. But we're just gonna keep it to this one page for now. So press Configure Widgets at the bottom right. Click on Company Profile. And then to be able to save, you'll need to put something in this headline. So what I do at this point is I save and apply. And then I click Save Changes at the top right and click Yes to Publish. And then I go back into that page I just created, School 1, click these three dots and go to Edit. Because it won't always save the first time you pull that page up, so I always like to cover myself and save it up front. So once you're back in, go to Configure Widgets again and Company Profile. The headline is what goes up top here, so we'll call this School Search. And then your intro text is where I put in the code for the Great Schools widget. So to get that code, we're going to open a new tab and go to greatschools.org slash widget. And you'll see you have some information to put in here. So this top line, you can put an address, zip code, or a city, and that is what's going to display on this front map. So I'm going to use zip code for our KW office. And then the size of your widget. If you think people will be using desktop to go to your website, you might want to make it a bit bigger. The best I've found for mobile for this particular widget is 410 for the width. And then if you wanted to make it shorter or longer, you could change that as well. You have to type in your email address and a website URL. Click Agree to the Terms of Service, which I recommend you read this if this is the first time using this widget. As with any website, always read the Terms of Service. And then press Get Widget Code. And you'll see this box comes up with your iframe code. You want to copy everything in this box. and then go back to your command, and you're gonna paste it in the intro text box. Now when you click Save, you'll see it pops up right here. Just like that. And you can add some extra information underneath. As you can see on my original page, I put in, for detailed reports, go to this website. But for now, I'm just going to leave all these blank. And 
then you're gonna click Save and Apply at the bottom right. And then Save Changes at the top right. And click Yes to publish to your agent site. So now that your page is created, we need to add it to our website. So to do that, you go to Agent Site Settings at the top of the page. Click on the Pages tab on the right side. And then scroll down to Add Page. Give your page a title. We'll call this School Test Page. Give it a URL slug. Call this School 1. And then you click Select Page. Scroll down and find the page you just created. Click there and press Continue. And then go ahead and save changes at the bottom right. So now that it's been saved, it should be on our website. This is your menu, how it displays on the website right here. So if you want to change the order, you just click on the left side where these dots are. You can move it around. We'll keep ours on the bottom for now. So now pull up your website and find the page on your menu. And just like that, you have your greatschools.org widget. And again, if you use that 410 width, it looks great on mobile devices as well. So I would recommend that since a lot of people do use their mobile phones for everything right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.